Solent's female hockey players have found it tough going this year, losing all of their first eight matches. I've come down to Trojans Club to see how they get on when they face the table-topping University of Exeter and see what gives them the motivation to stick at it. Today's opponents offer a formidable challenge for the Solent girls, who face a team who were unbeaten so far this season. The game was dominated by the away side, with a visiting keeper reduced to a spectator at times. Despite a resilient defensive effort, Solon were unable to deny their opponents, who eventually ran out 3-0 winners. And whilst this game confirmed Exeter as champions, it represented huge progress for coach Ian Bassett's team. It was very tough at the start and they play, when they played against Exeter, which they played today last time, it was about 16-0, so only three today. Um, and it's been the same for all the other games. So although they have lost every game, they've at least improved by at least double. Um, so there's definitely an improvement. It's just harder than because they're in not too bad a league and they lost a lot of players over the summer. Whilst results haven't been going their way, it hasn't dampened the enthusiasm of the players who highlight the team's spirit as a major part of why they keep going. It's been knocked a bit because obviously we haven't even won a game, but we're still a strong team and we still continue to motivate each other and progress. I like playing with the people, the team's really friendly and it's just a great spirit when we do play. Even if we are down, we carry on going. Just team spirit, we all get on. We're not out to win, we know we're not going to win. Whilst the team admit that facilities aren't the best, there are plans afoot to upgrade the club at Trojans, a prospect which is welcomed by the players. Well, they're just about to redo the pitch that we're playing on today, um, which will make it a lot better. And they're on about redoing the changing rooms, etc. as well. So, um, yeah, it's not bad. It'll be easier if they were more on site, closer to uni, but they're decent, so we can't moan too much. Coach and captain seem to be in agreement that the squad at present is a couple of players short from being able to really compete. I mean, hopefully we get a few more players in that have uh, obviously got a bit more experience having played because it's quite difficult because you need a spine that has played and we're probably this year one, two players short of actually having that spine where we would have actually been able to start scoring a few, few goals as well whereas we just, because we didn't quite have the numbers in the spine. We didn't. Re we weren't able to have much up front in order to score. We need more players and more like better level players. And I just think we just need to continue pushing forward and motivating each other. The team are clearly a close knit bunch, and with one game left, hope to end the season on a high. That's it from Trojans, another defeat for the women's hockey team, but it certainly hasn't dampened their spirits as they look for a first win of a harrowing season.